most processes are flows so when i am waiting outside uh, an automated teller an atm machine to withdraw money for um, from my account I'm, i'm i'm in a line i flow through the line get into the atm get my money out and flow back out uh same thing when i'm waiting uh, or i pass through a security at the airport what i'm doing is there's a flow of um, travelers who flow who go through the security system when i call a help desk to get a problem solved even that process is a flow where my call pro- gets processed through some sequence and gets to a caller and gets answered and gets resolved traffic is a flow in the internet when internet information moves around all over the earth that's the flow and a crucial question in all these flow designs is what should be the capacity because if we have excess capacity we are wasting resources and if we have less capacity we have customers who would be dissatisfied that um, they have to wait too long so this question can be answered by something that we call as the littles law now the littles law even with the name little is a huge law it's it's very useful and um, has wide applications so littles law says that um, it, it tries to correlate three things where l is uh, a number of items in the system number of calls that are there being being addressed to a number of cars in a traffic it's a number a is the throughput rate is the rate at which flow happens so generally a is always in terms of something per time so it's customers per hour or or calls per minute it has to be some entity or something per time and w is the duration that it takes the time it takes so what little's law says is that if we know any two of these um the third can easily be calculated by the formula which is uh, given on top here Uh, which says that uh, the number in the system is equal to uh, the multiplication of the product of the throughput rate and uh, the wait time of the object in the system